Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy coffee with Melissa. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have my coffee with me right now because it's hot out here. So, I'll, I will have some later, though. Hope you're having coffee. Hope you're having a good Friday morning. I wanted to jump right in, of course, and go over a few things that we talked about last week. And I want to expand on those this week because last week we talked about the OODA loop. And let me explain that really quickly what the OODA loop is. And you can see it spelled above this video, but it's O-O-D-A. And what that means the OODA loop is, before I explain OODA. Good morning. I'm, going to, I'm talking about the OODA loop again. And, <clears throat> well, pardon me. And the OODA loop is the process that you go through whenever something shocking or unexpected happens. And there's this thing that happens, this process your brain goes through. And let me say this, some people get through that OODA loop a whole lot quicker than others do. So, and, and some, some of us process it a lot slower. So, here's what OODA means, O-O-D-A. O is observe, O, orient, decide, and act. Observe, orient, decide, and act. That's the process we go through whenever something shocking or unexpected happens in here. And like I said, some people run through that and they get to act and boy, they're on act. And then some of us get stuck on observe and orient for a long time. So talking about this process of an OODA loop and how relevant it is for where we are. Because since we last talked, uh, it's, it's been another interesting week. It's been another uh, shocking and unexpected week, I would say. Wouldn't you? I mean, hope, I hope all of you that are watching are safe in your cities and in your towns. And just remember this, it, you're covered under the blood. These kind of things are not outside of the protection that God gives us. And it's not outside of his blood. We are protected and there's a whole host of his army of angels that the Bible talks about keeping watch over us. So let me say that and move on from here. Good morning, good morning as you're joining in. This is where are we in the OODA loop part two. And so now that we've had more unexpected and shocking things happen this week, here's, here's what I've been thinking about. Where am I? Where am I in this OODA loop? You know, where, where, where am I sitting? Because I, I thought I had a good grip on it last week. And then all of a sudden, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let me take a second to say good morning. But all of a sudden this week, with more happening, I've had to, honestly, I've had to reorient. Because I don't know about you, but I've lost my peace over some stuff this week. And it, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. But it just, it kind of got squashed with, you know, we look, it almost seems like we're gaining some ground and then bam, out of nowhere, here comes something else nasty and ugly. So I've, I've lost a little bit of peace this week over some things. And so I've had to start at the beginning of my OODA loop of observe. And I've found myself stuck on observe a lot. I don't know if you have. Observe, and I'm, I've moved into orient, and then I've, decisions had to be made and and I'm still working on the act part but here's what I've realized this week what's going on okay let's take all this surface stuff let's take all of this and we're gonna set it aside we're gonna take all of these wars that are going on and we're gonna set those aside for a second because what's happening is the enemy is getting uncovered he's being discovered in places we didn't know he had a grip we didn't know he had his claws in politics like he does we didn't maybe didn't know that he had his claws in the church like he does we maybe didn't know that he had his claws in in business like he does and so and there's a whole other list you can add to that but what's happened is he's being uncovered and so, because he's being uncovered, he knows what comes with that process. 
uncovering him leads to his destruction. So what that means is he's throwing everything he's got. He's throwing punch after punch after punch. He's throwing everything. You notice that, right? You know how you notice how we've gone from Rona to riots. Uh, you know, last week you talked about potential aliens. We're getting signals from outer space. So Rona riots, aliens to the police walking off the job uh, because of all of the screaming and shouting and 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 craziness that's going on. So we've had. You notice that it's not just one passing, but they're kind of building on each other. Well, that's because the enemy's throwing everything he's got at us. And you know what it's doing, unfortunately, is it's keeping us on the first O of the OODA loop. It's keeping us on observe. And so what that means is punch after punch after punch. If you don't have time to orient, decide, and punch back, then what that means is he's got you. So, in this OODA loop, where are you? Can you step back and decide where you are? Are you on observe? Are you on orient? Are you on decide? Or are you on act? Because I'm here to tell you this morning, it's time for us, the ones that are covered in the blood, the ones that carry his name, the ones that carry authority on this earth, it's time for us to get on act and stay there. Because the enemy knows how to distract us. And if we stay distracted, if we stay on observe, nothing gets done. And so that's what's happening. Like I said, put all the junk, put all the news, put all the surface stuff that we hear about, put all the information to the side and realize that the enemy is trying to keep us distracted so that he doesn't get uncovered and dealt with. So there's the beauty of that. It's time for him to be uncovered and dealt with. And it's time for you and time for me to stand on act and to do something about it. <clears throat> to be who we were born to be. We were absolutely ready, made ready for this moment, y'all. We're made ready to deal with what's happening. We don't have to stay in that hamster loop. We don't have to stay there and keep going back to observe because I'm telling you right now, which we talked about and which I know that you know, there is more coming. So the, now that we know there is more coming because the enemy is trying, he's trying his best to stay, to s hold the ground he's taken in politics, in business, in families, in education, in churches, in everything. He's trying to hold that ground. That's why we are seeing such a severe unleashing of, of his attacks and his minions, if you will, because he is being uncovered and he is being defeated. And so it's time for you and me to remember that. And I'm talking to myself here. Because like I said, I've lost my peace a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. But that's because the shock was able to knock me back to observe. And that's not who I am. That's not who you are. It's not who we're meant to be. We were made to act. Act off of God's original intention. Act off of God's kingdom. His principles. That's who we are. And that's what we were made to do, is act off of his truth. Because what do we know? We know the truth. And what does it say about the truth? It will set us free. You know what? Ephesians 6, 13. Done, having done all, put on that armor of God to stand. Y'all, we've got the armor. We may forget. And we may have moments where we sit back and observe and have to reorient and decide how to act. But we have the armor and we're ready for this. This is what I'm declaring the next phase is, even though we know more waves of the enemy is coming because he's fighting for his, his life, if you will. He's fighting for his ground. And so we know he's going to throw everything he has at us. But here's the thing, that's all he has. That's all he has. We win. We win because uh, we are prepared for this moment. We were made for this moment. We get to be alive to win in 2020. You're ready. You are armed. All you need to do is remember. Remember that you have the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit. And listen. Listen. He'll tell you how to pray. He'll warn you what's coming next so that we can pray that it falls to pieces. It is going to fall to pieces. All the waves that are coming, they're going to fall to ash. It's not going to have its full intent. 
But what it's going to do is expose the enemy even more so that those that are asleep will begin to wake up and see how they've been deceived and how they've been held under a victim spirit. It's just time, America. It's time for us to be who God created us to be because we really are one nation under God. And that's going to become more and more obvious as the days come. And as the days ahead come, it's going to become more and more obvious. So let me end this here talking about this OODA loop. And here's the thing. Yeah, it feels like we're being bombarded and backed into a corner. But in reality, we have the choice to stay there or not. We have a choice to stay on observe while the wave after wave after wave of the enemy's foolishness and ridiculousness comes or we have the choice to stay on act because we know whose we are, we know who we are, and we can make a difference every morning when we get out of bed with this right here. By declaring the word of God, declaring what the scripture says, declaring what the Holy Spirit tells us. We've said this for years in the church, y'all, that's not mundane. That's not, that's not from the past season, that's here and now. We've been learning how to do this. We've been hurt learning how to use our words for this moment right here in 2020. It's time. It's absolutely time to see the difference made from this day on. No matter what the enemy throws at us, can you and I make, the, make a pact to act and no longer be thrown back to observe? It's time to act, y'all. It's time to see his kingdom come and it's time to see what awakening fully looks like. I'm going to leave you with that. Good morning, everybody. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And just a reminder, this is awakening. It's time to act. Have a good weekend.